Okay, so behind the box. So you start with the baton, the head down, right? So you have a basic just grab on the baton like this, thumb over your four fingers. And so what you do is you start with your hand in front of your face and you put your hand down to your side. So for me, I'm, I'm using my right hand and so I'm putting it down to my right side. And I don't, I don't know if you can use it in the left hand. Currently, I only believe you can do the right hand, but I could be wrong. So you go from right to right side. And from here, when you go to the side, you pick it up this way. So you're doing this motion and you go behind yourself. So you, your hand is still the exact same through this entire thing down to the side, then you pick it up again. So from the side angle, it's baton, side, back, side. And so when you do this, it's sort of hard to see because of the camera angle. But when you do this, you put it down behind yourself, probably behind your thighs or so. Um, and so you do it behind yourself. And then when you do this, your hands should be doing the exact same thing. See how my hands are going? And then the other hand grabs on. The other hand grabs on. And all the other hand does is brings it out to the front. And it moves it all the way in front of the body as much as you can. Like this, even though it might be uncomfortable. And then you can go into whatever. So quickly, it should look like this. Uh, that was a bad example. I didn't really go in front of my body all the way. But it can be used for moves like the half flourish, which you need the hand rule, which I've posted pr uh, previously. So this is what the uh, half flourish looks like. And see, so then I, uh, so at the very end of the half flourish, it's usually a behind the back. I'm, I'm not sure if it's every single time it has to be behind the back, but it's usually. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the behind the back.